15th of March. And if you perhaps you're in some sunny paradise like Milwaukee, where they don't have any snow on the ground, you don't really appreciate how far behind the season we are up in uh, the middle of Wisconsin, on the western edge. We still got six inches of snow on the ground. And uh, I came along with the dead sled to haul out uh, anything that I found dead in this apiary. I found this one little colony. This one didn't make it. You can tell it's got the signs that it just literally pooped out. Look, look, little tiny front of bees here, so you can tell there wasn't just enough bees to get to keep them warm. But happily, most of the others are still chugging along. So what I did today was I came out to unwrap them, weigh them, clean the bottom boards, and put them uh, put them back under the wrapping. Because right now, when the, they're starting to raise brood, they increase the temperature in the hive, and its insulation is even more important right at the moment. Mm -hmm. So what that entails, how I do that, is I come along, I take the stretch wrap off, I take the lid off, I crack the crack the bottom board off, temporarily rest the, the hive here, then pick this up, put it on the scale and weigh it. And then I'll scrape the bottom that bo the bottom board that was there off and then put the, put it back on there. Now then um I'll rewrap it. And what I did today was uh, I moved the, what I'll do at this time of the year, backing up on my comment about the heat being necessary, I closed off the top hole and opened the bottom one. If this, if this colonies were, were huge, I'd take that ha hole out altogether, but there's no need. They've got this one at the bottom, which is three quarters by three eighths. They've got this, which is half of a half of a three H alcohol, and they can manage that pretty well. There's nothing for them to go out and fetch yet, so I'm going to let them enjoy the benefit of the heat. Inter interestingly, even though this was a really cold cold uh, winter, I think they said it was the coldest in like eight years on average i lost uh i want to say 20 pounds per colony so they were the, most of these were in the in the 50 to 55 pound range i'll put the data out later but the they have two inches of insulation on the top underneath this box here two inches on the side a piece of uh Reflectix insulation between them to squeeze them together and that's how I've been doing it so it's been working so the next thing I'm going to do with them is leave them alone it's just uh, in their interest to let the nest just develop and then check them perhaps in the middle of April and see where we're at then because they've got enough food to last them till then